Yeah, folks with uh, seasonal affective disorder or winter depression are uh, folks who feel fine during the summer when the sun's out. But during the winter, with the lack of light, they uh, have excessive sleep, really tough time getting up in the morning, major effort getting out of bed, uh, increased appetite, particular carbohydrate craving, um, sweets, starches they crave, uh, weight gain, low energy, irritability, poor concentration, uh, just having difficulty getting on with their life. It is a clinically recognized disorder. Um, many of us are seasonal to a more minor degree, perhaps difficulty waking in the morning, a little lower energy, but for many of these folks, uh, it significantly impacts their lives. Uh, for example, some folks sleep as many as 16 hours a day. Most people with depression have insomnia with early morning awakening, decreased appetite, weight gain, um, the other symptoms they, they share in common. Uh, one other uh, type of disorder is, um, that may be confused with winter depression is hypothyroidism. People with low thyroid levels, uh, they may experience the cold intolerance, um, feeling too cold even in a uh, comfortable room temperature. Uh, they may have uh, lethargy, sleep too much, uh, really feel fatigued. Uh, so that, that could uh, confuse the differential diagnosis. Well, light is the main synchronizer of the body clock, our 24-hour body clock. Um, in our bodies, there is an internal symphony that um, goes from uh, across the 24-hour period. Certain hormone levels rise at certain times and fall at certain times. Our temperature, for example, rises even before we wake up in the morning, falls even before we go to sleep at night. And regulating this symphony is a conductor in the brain, the hypothalamus, um, that regulates this. And the main thing that regulates the conductor of the symphony is light. In the summer, we have uh, an early sunrise, uh, early dawn signal lightening up our bedrooms. We go out into sunlight typically in July, August. Um, and we have a, a nice late uh, sunset enjoy the, the sun after we get home from work. In the winter, on the other hand, um, we may have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning when uh, the sun is not rising until 8. We're waking up in the dark. We uh, may be coming home in the dark. The light is lacking the synchronizer that it needs to regulate its body clock. There's probably a desynchrony or lack of harmony between the body clock and when we sleep. Just as an example, the um, temperature minimum uh, that we have may be thought of as a hand of the body clock, and typically that occurs at about 3 or 4 in the morning. Again, we hit our minimum, we have a rising temperature before we wake up. With the lack of morning light, there's a tendency for our body clock to drift too far clockwise so that our body temperature minimum is at about 6 o'clock in the morning. So when the alarm clock goes off at 6 in the morning, many folks with winter depression say that it feels like the middle of the night. I don't want to get up. And I think in part that's because physiologically it is the middle of the night. Mm. And the bright light is effective in shifting that minimum counterclockwise to an earlier time so that the temperature rise not only for the body, but also the brain, starts rising earlier. And in that way, we think that uh, the light therapy is helpful in terms of, um, again, creating a synchrony between our body clock and when we sleep. Uh, light therapy is a situation in which one sits in front of a, um, a bright light box um, with the eyes about three feet away. And uh, in, in essence, we're trying to fool the body into thinking that the sun has come up typical light box, and uh, it is bright. And again, um, this uh, intensity can be made even brighter. Some companies um, make light boxes that are on stands that are put at an angle so that one can bring the eyes to within a foot and a half of these lights. One doesn't have to look directly at the lights. Uh, one can read and just have it in one's peripheral vision. Um, but. Uh, and with that more intense light, one can probably get by with, um, let's say, 30 minutes of um, bright light in the morning.
most homes are relatively dim. Just to give you an idea, um, in a, on a bright sunny day, the intensity of light is about 100,000 lux. A lux is about um, a one tenth of a foot candle. On a cloudy day, we get between 1,000 and 10,000 lux. Mm. In a home, however, a typical home, we get about 100 lux, maybe 200 lux. In a bright welded office, maybe 600 lux. So when one is inside, one is getting even less light than one is on uh, being outside on a cloudy day. In fact, this bright light box, uh, paradoxically, is only about as bright as a cloudy day. And it works in part because it's given at an earlier time. And also it works because um, uh, when we're indoors, we're in a much darker situation than we are even when we're out on a cloudy day. The Dawn Simulator is a um, uh, new device which um, creates a gradually increasing illuminance in the bedroom while the person is asleep. Um, the eyelids are translucent to light. Uh, the retina are especially sensitive in the early morning hours. And this Dawn Simulator is able to be set like an alarm clock in essence so that it creates at a specified time a gradually increasing voltage coming out mm. of this outlet that goes to an incandescent light. So at a specified time the incandescent light starts out with an orange glow and then almost imperceptibly increases in illuminance. In essence uh, emulating the, the dawn signal that we get in the summer. And we've done some um, early work in this uh, that suggests that it is effective. And um, it's not nearly as well tested as the bright light box, but we're hopeful that it is uh, as effective. I would recommend that one have a therapist to um, uh, work with the person on, on this. Um, there can be some side effects from uh, light therapy. Uh, one can have uh, manic episodes. Some people with mm -hmm. depression are bipolar, have manic depressive mood swings. And a light has been reported in some individuals to um, swing them into a manic episode where they're essentially a flip side of depressed, feeling uh, decreased need for sleep, hyperactivity, hypertalkative, um, and, and this can be really devastating to their, their lives. There have been some studies of uh, regular antidepressant medications that have shown uh, positive effects. Uh, Prozac has been found to be helpful, for example. Um, those are the main, that's the main uh, other treatment besides light therapy. Yeah, I think it would be important to stay away from alcohol. Uh, we find that many of our folks uh, attempt to self-medicate their depressions with alcohol. Uh, and um, in fact, this winter we're doing a study looking at abstinent alcoholics who have winter depression mm -hmm. to see whether light therapy is helpful for them. But um, alcohol may give a temporary feeling of uh, elation, relaxation, and lift a person out of depression, but ultimately there's that crash within hours after, after using. Okay, thanks.